welcome back to another video. I hope you're excited because today we're going to be starting a brand new challenge called Every Occult Challenge, created by the best simmer in the world, James Turner. I thought it'd be really fun to give this challenge a go because I've noticed that himself and also Deligracy have created two separate challenges that they're running on their channel at the moment. So I'm going to leave them linked for you down below. What we will have to do is we're going to have to create an eight sim household with each different occult. There's also a few little side quests like you have to have some NPC visitors which you have to have two at a time at the same time and your sim in this lifetime also has to turn into two temporary states I don't know how long it's gonna take me but I'm here to give it a go if you want this better explained I'm gonna leave James Turner's video linked down below he will explain everything so much better because it's obviously his own challenge so anyways uh, let's get into the game I don't think there's any particular order that you have to take this challenge in but James actually started with Salani I thought it was a good idea as well in the sense that it is really easy to find money in this world but also I miss Solani and I think challenges like this always make you revisit certain aspects of the game that you kind of forget about or you just like leave behind it's such a great way to revisit these amazing aspects so I'm very excited and I'm going to start with Solani as well but what we're going to do different is that we're actually going to move around the world so I'm not just going to stay in this in this world you know I'm not going to stay in this neighborhood I also built us a house this is not going to be our final house we're going to be moving all around the world as we move move on with the challenge and the occult sim so I thought that'd be quite fun you know when we're on to the werewolves you can live in the werewolf pack world you know so on and so forth so let's say we're beginning in Sulani what we actually need to do to complete the mermaid task is we need to collect kelp particularly from the cave and he in his own video explains why he tried to do it in other kind of ways but it is just too hard so we have to do it from the cave start the Sulani cleanup and get it to like the first starting Sulani cleanups level and catch one invasive fish so it's you know it's not just gonna be the easy peasy going grabbing a mermaid and bringing it back home no it's just not that easy and that's why I thought this again will have such a fun way of revisiting the pack and really just getting to remember all these good times I had with Solani because honestly this world Solani is one of my favorites in the sims it's such a beautiful world I also think in a way this is going to be pretty easy because I've already watched his first video on how he tackles this the the mermaid occult that's why I thought it was a great way to ease myself into the challenge so I don't get this hardened as easy okay so this is the little house that I have made for us which I think is pretty cute I've used up all of our money but obviously as we're moving on we'll be able to sell all of this stuff and move on as we're moving up in the world with the occults and obviously once we catch the occult because we're gonna have to obviously have the occult living in our house we're then going to have to obviously expand the house and things like that so I think it will be a lot of fun we still have a little bit of money anyways what I'm going to do straight away I think um is I'm gonna go into that cave I think that's the easiest thing he said to do um oh what are you carrying oh my god it's that weird yellow book thing happening again where people are walking around the world with this yellow book it's like they have like a weird secret weird cult book club I don't know that's very weird if you've seen that in your game before please let me know because I think that's so weird anyway I'm gonna go explore the cave is it called mermatic kelp Mer mermatic kelp I don't know fingers crossed we're gonna get it straight away cave graffiti okay interesting go back in we're then gonna have to gather some rubbish and comb the beach for things um you can see that there's rubbish already there this is going to help us to start the Solani cleanup and get us to like the level one of cleanliness he also started a fishing club for the fishing incentive not fishing incentive <laughs> the catching the invas invasive fish which I think would be a great idea as well so I'm just gonna keep going into the cave until I find the kelp because I don't want this to take too long I kind of want to do like episode per occult. I don't really want to have like a hundred episodes of this challenge, you know, but I feel like it's not going to be that easy. What is this? Junior solar system. Whoa, okay. Junior solar system trophy. I just found that in the cave. I've never seen this before and it's 1,165. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Where am I gone? Oh, I'm still in the cave. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward until I find the kelp, honestly. Okay, so I just went back and forth like a hundred times into the stupid cave. I've already got gotten so many of these pieces on the cave thingy but I haven't found the stupid kelp I found like other things but we haven't found the kelp so maybe let's just ignore it for a while and let's go start cleaning up the beach or something I think that might be a bit easier okay I think we have to clean up quite a bit of it to actually get to where we want to be so hopefully there is see there is bins around there oh there's a fishing gathering going on here that's interesting I feel like I should go over and say hi to these people just so I have a few friends you ask nicely 
actually to leave. Oh my god. Wait, what? Confront about wrongdoing. Oh my god, yes. If I can confront anyone, I will. You know me. Okay, I also need to go to the toilet. My my mood has gone all the way down because I've literally just fast forwarded into the cave like a hundred times. Can I confront this person for a wrongdoing, please? I don't know what wrongs you are doing. You are the fish poacher. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I think it's good that we said something. Ask nicely to leave. Yeah, you better leave, you little witch. <laughs> leave, please. Why are we talking? Confront of our wrongdoing. Chat. No, don't be chatting. Ask nicely to leave before I wee myself. Okay, she's leaving. Thank God. Right, I feel like I need to go back into my house for a minute because I need to wee so badly. Oh, and I've weed myself somewhere along the way. Okay, that's not good. Um, The challenge so far is not off to a great start, shall I say. <laughs> okay, I've sent her to bed and honestly, our fun and our social is going down so fast already. So I think I'm also going to do the same thing that James did and actually do that fishing um thing the little club i've never actually i don't think i've properly created a club so i think it's gonna be quite fun to figure that out as well but also we have done nothing so far and that worries me a little bit because you know me with my let's play sometimes i get carried away doing something stupid and then some chaos takes over like we weed ourselves in the middle of the beach it could it could take a bit of time there's probably gonna be a few little things that are going to stop us from getting where we want to be but i'm gonna try my very best to fit this this mermaid occult into one episode so keep your fingers crossed you're probably all like screaming at me in the comments like what are you doing you can just do this an easier way oh wait there's rubbish in here as well clean up wait 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 wait, wait. clean this up first now i'm cleaning up that's great that's gonna get us to oh someone wants to talk to us hey who are you because after all we do have to become friends with everyone because we do actually have to find the mermaid i mean i don't think this guy is a mermaid i think i've played with him before yeah it's makoa we all know Makoa. Makoa is not a mermaid. So I'm afraid, Makoa, I think we're going to have to just like stop the chats before they even start because I know that you are not a mermaid. I also think at the same time, we should probably start harvesting some vegetables and whatever we can harvest, really. Because if you think about it, we do have to be a plant sim at some point. And to get into, I think to become a plant sim, you actually need to have level 10 of gardening. So I mean, I don't know how I'm going to manage to do this all in like eight episodes. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's not worry about that for a minute. Right, let's keep cleaning up. And whatever this is, I'm going to harvest pineapples. Oh, that's really cute. Right, I'm going to find more rubbish. I know that she is a mermaid purely because I just knew that. And also um, James also did that. So I'm not going to just, you know, grab her because I know that she's a mermaid. I'm going to let her let her run free and I'm going to find someone else. Oh, Wolfiel. Yay. Okay, I'm going to just keep combing for trash for a little bit. Oh. Oh, electronic upgrade part. I think we might need that for when we're creating the servo. Okay, I've been combing the beach for ages and I just find, I found nothing. Instantly fills the fun need. Oh my God, yes, let's drink that. Am I sunburned by the way? I feel like I got sunburned. Okay, I found this um, energy drink thingy. Um, so I'm gonna drink that. That will get her fun up. Oh my God, I must be so sunburned. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> hey, and her fun is fully fulfilled. That's unreal. I love finding things like that. Okay. Um, I'm in a bit of a weird place. Do you mind if I crash with you for a while? I promise I won't take too much room. I just need to get away for a bit. Did we not just meet like last night on the beach? I just moved here. <laughs> Why do you want to come stay with me? Weirdly enough, that did actually happen to James as well, where the whole land grab family moved in with him for like six days. But I guess, I mean, I don't know. I don't mind. I guess it's going to get our social up because our social is down really low. I wonder is that something the game is doing on purpose if they find that your social is low instead of sending, do you know, like that sad bunny? Um, bunny thing. Do you remember that from The Sims 2? Likes gardening? Yes. Oh my god. Yes, exactly. I do like gardening. Thank god because we are going to need to garden loads. Okay, I'm gonna go clean up this patch here as well. Oh, someone is on the boat over there. Who is this? Oh, it's Makoa. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, Makoa. Is that guy at my house? He is. Oh, he brought his suitcase and all. Just yanked it into the middle of the room and now he's just standing there. Poor thing. I wonder what's wrong with him. I feel like we should talk to him. He's in a really sad mood. Oh my god, I've called to inform you that your great 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 once removed has died. Yes. Um, under what conditions? Yay. Okay. So far, so good because I do need to buy this man a bed because he's going to be staying with us. I guess I could do that straight away. Where is this man going to sleep? Oh my God. This is just, you know what? So far, it's not that great. Why don't I put the little cute sofa outside for a while? Okay. Although the bunk bed idea that James had was 
was really good, but I don't think I'll be able to put a bunk bed in here, surely not. Are the bunk beds a bit weird like this? Okay, I'm gonna move this around like that so that we actually have a little bit more room and I'm gonna put a suitcase like there. You know, the one good thing about Solani is that it makes you like swim so much that your fitness skill goes up. So that's pretty good. I don't think the fitness skill is actually necessary in this challenge. Um. Oh no, he's bawling. No, poor thing. Oh my God, Brighton Day. Are you okay? Like what happened? Like honestly, you have to tell me. I barely know you. So you're gonna have to tell me something, you know? Oh, he has a wife. That's kind of sad. Is it marriage problems? Like what is this? Ask Alika to help out. Alika is not in the mood to help out around the house. <laughs> That's fair. No, like you kind of have to tell me what's going on because you don't just come over to a stranger's house out of nowhere, you know? Oh, he's self-assured as well. So am I, I think. <laughs> okay, I might serve us dinner. I might do some vegetable dumplings just so we have some food. And then I'm gonna go back out, I'm afraid, Alika. You can stay, you can do whatever you want in the house. Just obviously clean up around the house, clean up after yourself, but you can stay and do your own thing. But we have no time, okay? I know these episodes are gonna be quite long as it is, but we have to get a move on as quick as possible. We do though, the good thing about all of this is that we actually have so many things we could sell. Like look at these fingers of Solani and like this eyes of Solani. I think I can sell all of this. Two, 2,700 out of nowhere. Okay, the downstairs bed is working. So hopefully the upstairs one will be working too. God, he just all of a sudden opened up and now he won't shut up. I feel like I haven't had a word in and he's just like chatting. I'm just like, oh my God, will you ever just shut up for a minute? I have to go. Oh, poor thing. He's so much happier now and we're almost like bestest friends. I think that's because it is a, um, a tiny home that we're in. So I think relationships are doubled, which is great. Oh sentiment gained okay that's so cute i'm gonna i'm gonna stop you right there because i gotta go back out again do you want to be in my fishing club though wait a second yes that's a great idea sandra let's do a club how do i even do a club this is where this challenge is amazing for me because i'm learning all about the sims all over again okay create a club we're gonna do the fishing 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 team fishing for invasive species yeah alika can be in my team and i suppose is there anyone else i want to become friends with let me see who do i think oh that's his wife maybe we can invite his wife um to fish with us so you know maybe we can like rekindle their mal marriage again marriage um i think that would be quite nice um okay no we don't need any club requirements i just want club activities i just want fishing some things that we can't do okay maybe we can't be mean to each other that's also how we're going to rekindle the marriage of these two. Okay, so we can't be mean to each other. <laughs> So this is kind of like a counseling and fishing session. Yay, okay, th I think this is literally the first time I've ever created a club. So, so far, thank you. Thank you to James for rekindling my passion for The Sims 4. Why, oh my God, I thought my chairs were floating for a second. Okay, I'm gonna start the gathering. Okay, let's fish everyone. Um, Alika, where are you? I know you're around somewhere, so please. Okay, why is he over there? Is that his wife over there? I don't know what's going on, but he's not really doing a great job. He's just swimming over there. Look, at least we're fishing and I think we're becoming friends. What is it that I have to catch? An invasive fish. I don't know what an invasive fish looks like. This one looks very cute. This one's blue. I really don't understand where everyone is. Wait, go fishing together. Maybe I should do this instead. Wait, stop fishing. Let's go fishing together. Where's your wife? She was meant to come over and fish with us. God damn it. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do. I wanted you to get back with your wife so you would leave my house. Okay, let's just fish, her, fish for a couple of hours. His wife is here. Oh my god, yes! Okay. Hey. I hope you're good. Um, how was your day? Can we not talk to each other while we're fishing? I actually don't think we can. <laughs> oh god, I'm very playful. I hope I don't die from being too happy. Okay, I really want to just catch this invasive fish because we've done nothing so far except for just rekindle this man's marriage. Oh, she's mentoring me! Wow! Oh, so cute. We've got a rainbow fish. Oh my god, cool. Oh, she must be really good at fishing. Okay, we're also already level four at fishing. I think this is also because we're on a tiny lot here. So our fishing level is going up so fast. I am catching so many amazing fish. And we've got 241 points, which is good because I think we can get some stuff. Oh, club outfits. Oh my god, why did I never create clubs? Clubs are so cool. It's like you force people to do stuff and they can't say no. We should definitely use clubs in this challenge. Challenge. I think like for other stuff as well. I'm sure there's other things we can do. She's like showing me how to do it. Oh, 
Okay, but why don't you mentor your husband? You know, he's like a bit sad. Like, he came to stay with me. Are you not concerned that your husband, like, came to stay with this random girl that just moved in? You know? Are you not concerned? Is the marriage over? I don't know. Please tell me. I want this man to leave. How far? How long is he gonna stay with us? He's staying until Thursday. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Great. Great, great. I think like a massive pop up pops up when you um when you catch the invasive fish because it's good for the environment because obviously the invasive fish is like killing all the other fishies so it's good in a way but to get to that invasive fish I have to catch so many of these fish that I feel bad for catching these ones you know. By the time I catch the invasive fish I turn into the invasive fish you know. I wish I could like release them. They should do that actually. Oh my god, Sims! If you're watching this, obviously you're not, but you should do like a thing where I can like release the fish. Because a part of fishing, like sport fishing, I think they release the fish, some of them afterwards. They don't like eat them or they don't kill them. They just, you know, they just release them. Why can't we do that? Oh, oh God. Okay. Let's just stop it for a minute. I need to go to bed because this is not, this is not good. Okay. I, I don't want to like mess up my sleeping schedule. Oh wait, let me end the gathering. Wait, he went home? He went home with melee. Okay, that's great. Oh no, he's back again. Okay, maybe he just walked her home. Okay, so we are ready to go back out there again. I'm just gonna continue cleaning up. So far, this let's play is a failure. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I mean, I'm only been I've only been recording for well a good while now, actually. Jesus, this lady really wants to talk to me. I guess I could say hello. She could be a mermaid. Hey, are you a mermaid? I don't know. Uh, clean up. Okay, we're really cleaning up. I'm gonna harvest more taro roots, and I feel like I should also plant them as well i think that would be a good idea start our gardening skill going right let's just um comb the beach for trash for another like 300 hours found a trout <laughs> Hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good friend. Oh, that's cute. Thank you so much. Wait a second, though. Do I see another person with a yellow book? Yes, I do. Oh my god. I also think you are a mermaid, so that could be a good thing to, like, point out. But where are you going with that yellow book? Please tell me. What book club are you in? Okay, I also do want to see what gift you have for me. So, um, I'm gonna invite you in. Oh, that's so weird. Like, her, her husband is in there just chilling in my house. And she's like calling over to give me a gift. I wonder if she like trying to get in to be like, hey, um, can I come around? I think your husband um is living here. He's crying in bed. Oh no. Oh, that's really sad. Um, please come in and sort your husband out. Oh, she gave me a cool little statue. Okay. That's that's cool. <laughs> Let's just clean this up and then we could we could start the fishing club again. Okay, start gathering. Let's go fishing together. All members of the club are already at my house, so this is ideal. <laughs> I think he's really sad. Yeah, look at how sad he is. He's sad and smelly. Oh, that's really sad. Okay, anyway, let's try and catch the stupid... Oh, wait, club points. Yes, fishing boost. Okay, perfect. We've got the fishing boost club point thing. So that should probably get us to become a better fisherman. Hopefully we'll be able to get the stupid invasive species going. Please. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to be that hard. When James was doing it, he literally like popped into the cave, got the kelp, fished once, got the invasive fish. And I'm here like ripping out my guts and my hair and throwing out my PC out the window and I can't get it to work. My God. I know I always say I like a good challenge, but this is just a bit much. <laughs> I love the way I'm just like fishing in between this, this married couple that are obviously going through a rough patch and I'm trying to solve it by forcing them to fish with me. <laughs> so cute. Whoa, I've caught um a, a butterfly fish, an endangered protected species of fish. Keeping this fish is illegal and can result in consequences, but a less ethical fisherman might be tempted to keep. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, release, release. Definitely release this fish. Oh my god, this is crazy. I've never caught like a, a fancy fish before. I mean, we definitely have some fishes, fishes, fish that I've never seen before, but that was so weird. Aww. At least we did the ethical thing to do. Okay, I'm on level seven. I think I'm gonna sell all these fish because like, I don't need all these fish. And none of them are the right ones, so I might just sell them all. I'd like to think that I'm selling them to, like, the local market so they could eat them, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna stop the gathering because clearly this is just not working out for us again. <laughs> and it is four in the morning. So I'm gonna just throw myself into bed really quickly. Why are you not sleeping in the bed? Sign bed. Alika, Alika, go to bed. Like, stop being a creepo. Go to bed. There we go. Like, if you're gonna be staying with me, you might as well sleep in the bed that I bought you. You know, I really do like this challenge. It just makes you, like, revisit the pack and, like, revisit all of these, like, building things 
things that I normally wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't have built a little shack like this. So I do think this is so nice and I'm so happy that I started with um with mermaids, even though we're just progressing nowhere at all. But look, I think it's still really fun. Okay, I'm gonna do my daily cleanup routine. Wait, my mouse just stopped working. Oh no. <laughs> Why is it that when I try to do things, nothing actually works and it's like impossible in The Sims, you know? Oh, I forgot to plant the stupid taro roots again. <laughs> We need to start working on the, the gardening skill as well. Oh my God, this is just, you know, stressful is not the term. Okay, clean up here now. Why are all the fish foul? Is it because of like the bad waters around? I am gonna start selling all of the fish unless it's the endangered. Also, we have 7,000 simoleons. <laughs> Jesus, wow. We're doing really well cash wise. My God, like what else do you need me to do? Like I'm cleaning up left, right and center like every single day. This is so hard. <laughs> I really took the longest way to get here oh do you want to go to the buffs island the buffs oh i kind of want to go actually because maybe we'll be able to find some some mermaids there but i i'm gonna bring your husband if possible i can't bring her husband oh for christ's sake fine i'm gonna bring all of these people with me let's go to uh, this event apparently we might be able to actually find a mermaid i know it's like veering off from our tasks but i mean like i'm kind of getting sick of it at the same time so oh my god jeez okay um there's a pregnant person here and i didn't realize it's a dance party okay cool oh my god this is totally not what i thought i was going to do okay well let's do some dancing together i suppose oh yeah let's dance <laughs> yes woohoo this is not what i thought i'd be doing in this let's play but we're at a dance party yeah <laughs> I'm still in my swimsuit. Like, I was just, yeah, I'm tagging along, you know. I'm going to a dance party. This is great. <laughs> is that guy here? Oh, he is. He is. Oh, my God. Hey, um, did you talk to your wife? Can I, like, try to rekindle your relationship? Is that possible? As great as this party is. Oh, no, he's just sitting all alone. <laughs> That's so sad. As great as this party is. Whoa, I thought I was about to punch someone. No, I'm going to go home. Oh, I can't because a social event is happening. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, but I am going to end this event early i'm going home i don't need to bring everyone with me this time i think i'm gonna leave them all at the party to continue it for a little bit longer but i'm i'm heading home to clean up the island right the two of us are back home again <laughs> ideal okay let's continue cleaning up because that is the most important thing obviously we are very responsible leaving the party early to continue with our tasks i just really don't understand like how when am i supposed to like you know oh wait clean up can i clean this up this might help this yellow gunk stuff here whatever this is kind of looks like gold or something but it's it's obviously not this could be this could be the golden ticket to to completing something from this challenge oh my god okay that's not what i thought she was going to be doing to be fair there is actually less little part pa okay can't speak anymore there's less little patches of dirt now so that's good i like to say that we are making some sort of progress clearly it's still not enough though because we didn't get the pop-up yet i'm gonna beach comb here for trash yeah we did it okay muat peel lamb is improving oh my god yes finally we did it conservation efforts are allowing muat plam to flourish flowers are blooming coral reef reefs are growing fish are coming back we did it okay that's good i'm delighted about this so we can tick off one little thing just one <laughs> just tiny one little thing from our task list but that's great i'm i'm delighted i'm so happy okay at least that so we don't have to comb the beach anymore but we still need to fish so I might start the gathering for just a couple of hours, you know. Um, we like to go fishing at night. I think that's a thing, actually. Oh, did you see all the coral reefs changed? Everything just kind of clicked and now it looks a lot nicer. Ah, oh, that's so nice. The water is a lot clearer, actually, as well. Jesus, it's like very clear. Wow, beautiful. Lovely. Okay, so let's just keep our fingers crossed that we'll be able to find this stupid endangered fish. Or sorry, no, invasive fish. This fish is invading my nightmares at this point. <laughs> So she's becoming to hate fishing so much. I am going to say no to that though, because that's not allowed. You have to like fishing. There's no way you can hate this until you find that stupid fish. Oh my God, finally. I've been sitting here for so long. Literally, like we had so many club points. We finally caught a celestial 
grouper, an invasive species that damages a local ecosystem. Oh my God, I've never been so happy about a stupid fish. We did it. Okay, it's Thursday, it's 11 a.m. And we have managed to take another thing from the list. We caught an invasive fish. Let me see it. I need to see what it looks like. Primordia Primordially hunters. Okay, that's very scary. I am glad we caught that fish. It's only worth 13 simoleons. So let me maybe sell it. I uh, don't need that anymore. Perfect, we've caught it. I'm so happy. Thank God. Right. Now, all we have to focus on is finding the kelp. So I might go back into this cave for another while. See whether we can catch it. And then the last thing we'll have to do is just find ourselves a mermaid that we will add into our home. I don't think the guy that we live with is a mermaid. Oh my God. And I've literally just maxed out the fishing skill. Yay. <laughs> Like, that should show you how much I... Wait, what is this? Achievements? Whoa. I did not realize we can get points like this for achievements. Wow. What the hell? I did not know this was a thing. I can share it to Twitter. First of all, it's not called Twitter anymore. It's called X. So, Sims, get your get your affairs in order. That's weird. I've never seen this before. But, yeah, we just reached level 10 of fishing. So, that should show you how long I've been doing this. Like, literally nonstop. <laughs> but I'm so glad that we finally did it so thank you too mu so much to the team i hope i also rekindled their marriage now we just have to pray to the sims gods that we are going to get the mermatic kelp straight away just as we come out finger keep keep your fingers crossed anything no okay let's just keep going back in there for a while no i keep finding these stupid fingers of Solani. i don't need the fingers ah oh, bess is ringing yeah donate a smolian i don't care i have loads of money i keep finding these stupid fingers we actually have eight thousand simoleons which is going to be great for when we have to move when we can complete today's obviously today's episode your silver guests have returned home yay oh that's kind of sad at the same time but i really hope their marriage is okay i'm gonna have to visit them at some point to make sure that they're still as happy as as ever <laughs> oh wait what is this discover natural wonder yeah definitely do do that please just give me give me the kelp Please. Did I just get 140 simoleons? For what? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I found a wallet. Oh, cool. Oh my god, unreal. Honestly, this pack is like the easiest way to make money, I feel. Like, look at it. It's the easiest way to just get 8,000 simoleons. Like, just clean the beach and then you get loads of money and go fishing. In our Let's Play, the four rent Let's Play, I'm being a landlord, obviously. I'm trying and it's just impossible to make money. It's like not a very feasible way of getting yourself quick simoleons. So, I definitely recommend Solani though. Sonny is the best. I can't actually get over how long I've been trying to find this mermatic kelp. I thought I had it. Damn it. I'm gonna sell everything that's not kelp. Oh, Alika. Oh, a new job might be the solution. I thought you just got a new job. Did you not say that you had one? I mean, yeah, if it's gonna make you happy, then definitely do it. Go for the new job. Anything to make this man happy. <laughs> Okay, this is not working out for me, like, at all. So, like, it says it has to be collect kelp from the cave. But, like, do you see how far I've been doing this? Like, I've been doing it, th like, I've been doing this all day, pretty much. Like, the whole time we're talking here. I've just been going back in. Samai Shuno Theater, I, I can't. I really can't. Thank you so much, but I really can't. I also need to find a mermaid. Oh, this is just so hard. Okay, I'm just gonna do this off camera until I find it because, like, recording all of this is just too much. I want to be dramatic, but I've been doing it for so long that this is almost literally complete and my mouse died out of battery, so I had to get new batteries. I cannot find the stupid kelp. I don't know why. It's like it just doesn't exist. Am I doing it wrong? Is it because I'm focused? Two minutes ago, actually, I was playful. I keep finding random things that I'm obviously selling straight away, but the kelp, nowhere to be seen. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of over it, to be honest with you. Like I've been doing it for so long. I'm going to try another time. Okay, right. We didn't find it. Whatever. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna do other things. And then I think if it really doesn't work, I am gonna try to get it from the stupid dolphins because I'm over it. I'm sick of it. The cave just doesn't have kelp. Maybe cave ran out of kelp, you know? What I am gonna do though is I'm gonna go to this area. Okay, I might go to the bar, I suppose. Or no, maybe, yeah, the bar. The bar is nice. And I'm just gonna chill there for a while and I'm gonna do a bit of people watching. You know, people watching is very fun. This way then we will be able to see are there any mermaids around you know it's a touchy subject with a lot of people and mermaids you know they just are this man is coming talking to me so you know maybe he's merman who knows where are you there's chickens 
over there. That's kind of cute. Where is he like coming from? Where is he? Oh, he's here. Okay. Hey there. Um, You look like you could be a merman. So how are you? Let's just like become best friends. And then that way you can tell me. Or else why don't we just go swimming together? I think that also might be a very fun thing to do. If we just swim together. Describe robot invasion. Yes. Hey, who are you? Who are all these people? Hey guys. Okay. Are all of you mermaids? I'd like to think you are. Okay. This is great. I'm in the middle of these people telling them about a robot invasion. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> my god this like if this isn't a scene my god i don't know what is hey guys why don't we go swimming together yeah let's swim and chat here how about that because as we know mermaids if they are mermaids they, they are going to you know they're gonna swim like mermaids we're just gonna know it straight away so what about what about this guy over here no he seems to be kind of swimming normally seems to be very good at swimming so maybe he is still a merman and he's just not telling me like see she's swimming like a weirdo i'm sorry no that's that's really mean she's swimming also normally but oh wait that's her friend hey come over here and chat with me why are you over there call over discuss interests i think that guy is a merman i i just have a feeling about it so i'm gonna become best friends with him oh my god no thank you we're not going to the cheerleading club see i feel like he's being a bit weird you know he's like really swimming around so i feel like he is trying to get away from us because he's like wait i'm a mermaid these people can't okay he's also on his phone in the water so so the fact that he has an underwater phone also makes me think he's a merman, you know? Why is he so angry? Stop being angry. Oh, Alika. Believe it or not, I got the new job. Oh, Alika. I'm so happy for him. Oh, that is so cute. He's a rag reviewer. <laughs> What? Okay, you are so angry. You need to stop like screaming at me. I'm just trying to figure out whether you're a merman. Jeer, share ideas. Please calm down. Like, please calm down. Do you want to hang out tonight? Why do these people love nightclubbing so much? Um, no. Why don't like we hang out here instead? Like, look at this. Why would I want to go to a nightclub when I can have like all of this beautiful scenery here? You know? Look at this. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, he has left me, so that's not ideal. Um, I feel like he's going home because he's like, oh, I can't let her figure out that I am a merman. Why don't we go back in here and listen to people? Because I think some of them kind of do this weird, like, cackle when they are mermaids. Okay, you're that really mean person that, like, litters on the beach. I know Makoa is not um, because a lot of people play with him in their Let's Play, so I know that for a fact he is not a merman. Is there anyone else? I feel like she is also a mermaid. I think maybe if we talk to her her a bit it's like there's so many people and they're just all going random places hey where's your husband i hope he's doing well are you a mermaid no that's penny pizzazz <gasps> wait you okay you're coming talking to me i know you are a mermaid i know it i know you are i well actually no i'm not fully convinced but i think when i first okay this, the camera is just great i think when i first started this you know this play let's play with island living i think this person oh wait flirt no 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 no! don't be flirting just yet i think that this person here is a mermaid ask of mermaid oh see they don't get very happy when you ask them just straight out out of nowhere i they don't get very you know they find it quite intrusive it's ladies night yeah let's just discuss interests like what are you interested in are you interested in some kelp because i don't have any i have pineapples and taro root but i have no i have no kelp unfortunately i wish i did what if we do like a club finding kelp like finding nemo but finding kelp okay i'm just going to keep talking until we're like really good friends we should really be like at my house because our relationships are better um because of the tiny living you know so we should be at our house not here it's also very dark in here hey maybe party at my house instead <laughs> it's an interrogation at this point who's a mermaid okay now we can talk okay let's gossip describe new idea and ask about day there we go see so much better mermaid what give you that idea oh see there we go one of these people has to be a mermaid i swear to god like i just have a feeling i have a feeling he is but i'll take anyone at this point also i'm thinking because they have these like cool leg tattoos and stuff maybe maybe that's what oh what are we doing are we doing a sandcastle oh that's cute oh i like that but that's not really getting our friendship up though is it okay maybe i'm gonna ask him he's gonna get offended mermaid will give you that idea see they get so offended so annoying fine anyway i'm gonna look after my needs for a minute because i don't want to wee myself in front of him that would be very embarrassing okay it's been quite a bit of time now and we've become really good friends and we're outgoing now apparently 
crazy things are happening. But I am gonna just um, ask him there in a minute if he's a merman because, well, mermaid is the term. But I feel like right now he might actually tell us the truth. And if he doesn't, I'll be quite offended. <gasps> yes! Ukunipu! Sorry, Uku Panipo is a merman. Yes! Oh my god, I knew it! <gasps> Something short seemed fishy about him. I just knew for some reason that there was something about him. I'm so happy about this. Okay, we figured it out. We have him as our little catch. Now, we don't have to necessarily um, have like a romance relationship with him. So we're just going to be friends for now. I mean, we can, I think, you know, be like in a relationship with him, but not on my watch for the moment. Okay, I'm going to get him to um, become a part of my household next. One second. Let me just do that manually because I think it's actually broken at the moment. Oh, that's so cute. Look, we're hugging. I think it's broken at the moment when you're trying to add someone to your household. I don't want to like break my game. So I'm just going to go add him manually from, from the world into my household. Okay, so I'm adding him to our household and he obviously comes with 20 simo 20? 20,000 simoleons. So that's going to be great for us because we are going to have to extend the house and make it bigger but it's not going to be necessarily that great for us because I do like the small home thing. But anyway. So now we can officially officially tick the mermaid occult sim as complete. I'm so happy. It took me so long. Oh wait. Oh my god. I just realized no we can't have it as complete because I don't have this stupid kelp yet. Oh no. I was literally about to like end the video here. Oh my god. Imagine. No. Okay. Right. Never mind. I actually have to go into this stupid cave now. Um. Okay. Well look at least we've got the mermaid so technically I can tick the mermaid occult as done. It's just that I have to actually get the kelp still oh my god i'm actually so disappointed this <laughs> If I don't find this kelp, I don't know what I'm going to do. I actually don't know. If I don't find the kelp in the next like 10 in life minutes, I'm going to have to like go to the to the dolphins because I think the dolphins can find it for you as well. And I know that James had issues with finding it from the dolphins, but maybe it will work for me. I don't know. I'm just going to keep exploring for a while and I'll catch back up with you when I find it. The funny thing about this part is that once you have your occult sim with you, once you capture one, capture is a very weird word, but once you have one added to your house, Hold. they kind of have to come and like hang out with you which I mean I am gonna do for the most part like right now he is actually helping me I'm I'm getting him to beach comb for seashells maybe he'll be able to find some kelp there because I'm really just running out of ideas like I found a stupid beach towel and a load of trash and like these like 600 simoleon necklaces but I can't find kelp like you think that it would actually be a very easy thing to find in Solani because wouldn't the game want you to kind of like you know find the kelp so that you can become a mermaid I don't know like look I just I keep finding weird things but nothing that I actually need also I've realized he's obviously a merman but when he turns into his mermaid a shape he's actually a very scary merman look he turns into like a creepy merman I think he's one of those like mean mermaids so that's ideal I'm kind of scared of the way he looks um that's okay though I guess doesn't matter at least I have him ironium but no kelp are you kidding me? Small conch shell. Wow. Okay. Didn't even know they came in a small size. Honestly, like this is just the worst. I've been sitting here for so long, just like on fast forward, just repeating, explore, explore, search for wildlife, explore. Like just, I've, I've been trying everything. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's fall now. We've been here through the whole like season. My God. What am I supposed to do? I think I'm, I think I'm going to go to talk to the dolphins. I'm going over. I'm going to talk to the dolphins. Maybe the dolphins will be able to get me the kelp. I know that's not... Oh, why is he very angry? Having a really bad time. Oh no, he doesn't like the dolphins. No, feed the dolphins. Stop being angry. No, don't be angry. Dolphins are lovely. Okay, spitefully splash dolphin. No, why are you a bad mermaid? Um, a request trick. No, can you... Okay, I'm just gonna keep like becoming friends with the dolphin for a while. Oh wait, we're besties already. Okay, great. Can you like bring me some kelp? Is that something you can do? What if I do fetch? Would you be able to fetch me something? Please get me kelp, please. At this point, I will take any form of kelp. Did you get me kelp? A fighting placat. Okay, no, but maybe we could go again. Could you get me some kelp, please? I would love some kelp. Really just, you know, peckish for some kelp. Oh my God, I did it. 
but it wasn't me. It was him. I hope that still counts. He just got it there. 10 mermatic kelps. Oh my god, thank god. Why was my sim not able to get this stupid kelp? We've literally went through like the whole season. I've been playing for so long. But thankfully, okay, we have the kelp. I'm gonna give it to my own sim. I know like I didn't get it, but he did. But technically, surely that still counts as a tick. Oh my god, okay. Well guys, that was very difficult. I mean, I've had a lot of fun because it made me really explore this world all over again. You know, the, the nooks and the crannies of it to get this stupid kelp. Like, I was making friends with dolphins and stuff, I don't know. Anyways, we managed to finally get our kelp. Get the, the stupid fish. Okay, you can stop going into the caves now. You can come back here. We've definitely managed to start the Solani cleanup because look how lovely and pretty it looks now. And the best of all, we managed to get our mermaid. Yay. So we have him, even though he's terrifying me. He's constantly angry and he just, I don't think he even likes being a mermaid. So that's one fun fact about him. But we have our mermaid occult sim added to, to, our, to our house. So I mean, like it's, it's great. Great, we've completed it and finally I can say that we are starting this challenge. If, if this whole challenge is going to be this difficult, I mean, it's going to be annoying. But also at the same time, I've had so much fun because, as I said, it made me just explore this whole side of the game again, which I haven't done in a while. So, yeah, that's it. We still had no NPC visitors, but I mean, like, it was really just focusing on this island side of things. I feel like once we move to maybe a different neighborhood, it's going to be easier to focus on, you know, an easier task. Just say, when we're getting the ghost, you just really have to kill a sim which i mean it's probably going to be quite simple to kill a sim i don't know i hope so actually i hope it's gonna be easy i hope it's not gonna be like torturous because i've had that before where i'm trying to kill a sim and they just won't die in the sims but we can focus on all of that in the future episodes of this challenge well guys thank you so much for watching today's episode of the every cult challenge by james turner i really hope you enjoyed and if you have any feedback or what kind of thing you would like to see me do next please let me know down in the comments or any tips because as you can see i'm gonna need a lot lot of tips and a lot of help because I'm clearly not very bright at times <laughs> anyways guys I had a lot of fun and I hope you had a lot of fun watching this as well and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and I shall see you in the next video thanks so much for watching bye